In this video, we're going to state and prove the exterior angle theorem as a theorem of congruence geometries, but let's first make sure we understand the vocabulary behind what is a, what's a remote interior angle, what's exterior angles of triangle and such. So imagine we have three points, A, B, and C, uh, which these are three distinct points which are not collinear. Uh, therefore, they make a triangle. So we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. So we have this triangle in mind. And so this definition will make sense, I should say, in an order to geometry. The exterior angle theorem will be a theorem of congruence geometry uh, because it'll have to say, it says something about the relative size of these angles. We need a notion of congruence to say something about that. But the definition of an exterior angle and interior angles makes sense in any order geometry. Okay, um, and so let me actually switch this around just to make it easier to see on the screen. I'm going to call this point B and this point C. And the reason for that is I want to extend the line AC so that there's a new point D that's over here. Again, this is I just moved the point so it fits better on the screen here. So the angle, the angle uh, DAB, which is this angle right here, uh, this is what we refer to as an exterior angle to the triangle. So honestly, there's a lot of exterior angles to a triangle. The idea is you extend a line and you look at this one right here. These two exterior angles are vertical angles and therefore are congruent to each other. So if we refer, if we refer to the exterior angle associated to the vertex A, it doesn't matter which one we talk about because as, ver as vertical angles are congruent, um, it's unique up to congruence. Uh, same thing over here. We can talk about the exterior angle associated to vertex B. We can talk about the exterior angle associated to vertex C. And again, this is unique up to um, congruence, which one we're referring to. So we have this exterior angle, um, uh, the angle DAB. It's, it's exterior relative to the angle A that's part of the triangle. Um, and so then every triangle, of course, has three interior angles. You see them right here. Now, since this exterior angle is connected to one of the interior angles of the triangle, the other two exterior interior angles, excuse me, are what we refer to as the remote interior angles. So the angle ABC is a remote interior angle, and the angle BCA is also a remote interior angle. So the exterior angle theorem of a triangle uh, will make a connection between this exterior angle, DAB, with the remote interior angles, uh, ABC and BCA. So let's make that statement explicit right here. In a congruence geometry, so we do need to have the axioms of incidence between this and congruence here. Um, in, an ex in a congruence geometry, an exterior angle of a triangle is always greater than each of its remote interior angles. Uh, so remember, we, we can make sense on what it means to say that an angle um, is greater than another angle, right? So just as a reminder, if we had two angles, and if we can translate one of those angles inside of the other one, kind of like this, then of course we say that the angle that got translated inside of the other um, is smaller than that. So again, this idea of ordering of angles was something we can talk about in, in a... Uh, in an order to geometry, but the proof of this statement is going to use the alternate interior angle theorem, and that's why the a congruence geometry is the necessary place we need to be in for the exterior angle theorem. Even though the statement makes sense for any order geometry, uh, we can only guarantee it's true in a congruence geometry because of the alternate interior angle theorem. Okay, so let's redraw the picture that we had on the screen a moment ago. Uh, so we're going to have the the line and a triangle and some exterior angles like so. Uh, so we'll call this point right here A. We're going to call this point over here D, this point right here C, and this point right here B. So again, the exact same picture we saw a moment ago. And so the point A is between the points um, C and D, and the angle DAB is an exterior angle to the triangle. All right? So we're going to first show that the angle... ABC, which we're just going to call it angle B for short, because after all, when you look at this diagram, there's no ambiguity in what angle B is going to be. So the first thing we want to show is that angle ABC, aka angle B, is actually smaller than the angle DAB. Now, to do that, um, to be smaller than it, there's actually three possibilities, right? Given any two angles, um, the first one could be smaller than the second. They could both be congruent to each other, or the first could be larger than the second. So to prove 
that angle B is less than angle DAB, the exterior angle, we're going to then consider the other possibilities. We're going to consider, well, what if the angle B is congruent to the exterior angle? And we'll also consider the possibility where the angle B is larger than the angle DAB. So we'll consider the two other possibilities and derive contradictions. Therefore, um, by process of elimination, we'll have to conclude that angle B is less than the exterior angle. That's going to be our plot that we go with going on with this proof right here. So note that uh, angle B and the exterior angle DAB are alternate interior angles to the line AC. So I want you to think about that for a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to extend the lines to make it a little bit more apparent. So we extend the line um, AB in that direction. We can extend the line AB in that direction. Okay. Um, we're going to extend the line uh, BC in that direction. We're going to send the line like so. Um, so we've extended each of these lines. And so then come back to the picture we're looking at. We're assuming for the moment, right, that angle B is congruent to the angle, uh, the angle DAB like so. And so with these lines in play here, we have this line BC, we have this line AC, the line AB transverses the two. When we talked about transversals, we didn't require they have to be parallel. Um, and so we have these congruent alternate interior angles. Well, by the alternate interior angle theorem, uh, because we have these congruent alternate interior angles, that means the line AC must be parallel to the line, um, that must be parallel to the line uh, it says AB there. It should be. It should probably say BC. That's a typo. I'll fix that in just a second. But clearly, those two lines cannot be parallel to each other because they both intersect each other at the point C. Um, for which that then shows us that the first case is impossible. The angle B cannot be congruent to the angle. Uh, the angle B can't be congruent to the exterior angle um, DAB. So, like I said, I'm going to fix this right here. That should be. The line AC intersects CB. Um, it was corrected. That needs to be corrected there as well. C is on both of those points, uh, both of those lines. So, okay, that two angles can't be congruent to each other. Well, the other possibility was what if B is larger than the exterior angle? Because, again, we're trying to show that B is less than the exterior angle in that situation. Well, if B was larger than the exterior angle, then that means there exists some point let's call it F, that lives inside the interior of the angle ABC um, such that the angle ABF is congruent to the, it's, that's then congruence to the exterior angle DAB. So F lives inside the interior of the angle ABC, we'll call this F, um, and if we then extend this line like so, whoops, let me do it straight, we get this ray, and in fact I actually want to go the other way around. So we have this line BF right here. And so we're assuming under this situation that the angle ABF is congruent to the angle DAB like so. But I want you to then consider the same basic picture we had before. So the line AB is acting like a transversal to the line AC and this time to the line BF like so. Um, for which then by the alternate interior angle again, it's got to be that the line BF is parallel to the line AC, as is written right here. Now, of course, when you look at the diagram, it seems like that doesn't quite seem right. Um, is there, don't they intersect right here? Well, how do we know that point of intersection is there? Now, the ray BF is interior to the angle um, ABC because F was an interior point so the ray emanating from the vertex of the angle to any interior point will also be interior. So by the crossbar theorem since BF is an interior angle to ABC by the crossbar theorem the ray BF must intersect the line segment AC and this is going to happen at some point of intersection call that point G like so. Therefore G is the intersection between the lines BF and the line AC because after all, if the ray, uh, the ray can be extended into the line BF and the segment AC can be extended into the line AC. So G is the intersection of those two lines, but they're supposed to be parallel by the alternate interior angle theorem, which gives us a contradiction. So it can't be, you can't have that B is greater than uh, DAB, the exterior angle. We also can't have that B is congruent to the exterior angle DAB. 
So that leaves only one possibility. The only possibility left, because we have a total order on the angles in, a, in an order to geometry, it has to be the case that angle B is less than uh, the angle DAB, for which angle B was one of the row interior angles. So that's, that's what we want to prove. Um, of course, we have to also consider the situation about angle C, right? But if we put some point E over here, uh, like we mentioned before, the angle EAC is a vertical angle to the angle DAB. So those two exterior angles are congruent to each other. And by mimicking the argument we just did a moment ago, we can then argue that the remote interior angle C is less than the exterior angle EAC. Um, thus finishing the proof of the exterior angle theorem. Um, that also brings us to the end of lecture 17, which in this lecture, we proved the alternate interior angle theorem. And then clearly in this video, we proved the exterior angle theorem. If you learned anything about these, um, about interior and exterior angles in a congruence geometry like these videos, subscribe to the channel to see more, uh, more math videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions, post your comments below and I'll be glad to answer.